We are back with another movie, Ted, which I've heard is decent and it's starring Mark Wahlberg playing as Mark Wahlberg. So I'm very excited for this. Hopefully a lot of good jokes and not a completely stupid film. And if you guys do want to watch the full movie along with me, you can find that on my Patreon in the description below. You also get early access to future content up to two weeks ahead of that YouTube schedule. But let's not wait, get your bongs out, get your crisps out, and everybody get straight into Ted. It has been said that magic vanished from our world a long time ago. No. Is the story of a little boy and a magical Christmas wish. Sounds like my life story. It was Christmas Eve and all the children were in high spirits. Damn, if I knew this was a Christmas film, I would have watched it in December. And beat up the Jewish kids. Hey, Greenbaum! As you do, I mean. Can I play? Get out of here, Bennett! Yeah, Bennett, get lost! <laughs> Even the Jewish kid getting beaten up. So he makes friends with the teddy bear. What a loner, what a loser. All the children were opening their gifts with holiday glee. You know kids these days just getting iPhones and crack cocaine? <laughs> wow! That is a cute teddy bear, to be fair. I'm gonna name you Teddy. What a creative name. I wish you could really talk to me. We could be best friends forever and ever. Was there a shooting star? Or a genie hiding under the bed? John picked the perfect night to make a wish. But don't most people just wish every night? Yeah, that's what I'll keep doing. One of these nights it'll come true. There it is. Things are starting out with this whole like wholesome story. Well, apart from the Jewish kid, gonna get real rough. Not like Shinna's less rough, but you know what I mean, like the, the weed smoking type of... Teddy, help me. Ah! You get to be best friends for real? For real. <laughs> oh. Our teddy bear's alive. Really? Well, isn't... <laughs> Wait for this. Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> the appropriate response. You're just what? Suburb comes what is without a doubt the most incredible story. Wow, literally the most famous bear ever now. As yet unknown. Look what Jesus did! <laughs> Look what Jesus did! Look what Jesus did! Before long. What if Allah did that? I mean, what, not have been Jesus. For some reason, I thought you were going to be taller. I thought you were going to be funnier. <laughs> That's what everyone says to me. Teddy never forgot his very best friend, John. Thunderbikes. And the thunder knows it. Yeah, this is gonna be weird when Mark Wahlberg's old. <laughs> so, where are John and Teddy today? Dead. No matter how big a splash you make in this world, eventually nobody gives a <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's true. Nobody actually cares about you. I'm sure of... Oh, Mila Kunis. I'm happy I'm yours. So how do you come to be stuck with a bummer like me? Former celeb caught with shrooms. <laughs> This is a good way to do credits. I always love that because I get so bored of credits. Wow. Well, that That's your girl? What the? Teach me. I mean, it is Marky Mark. Yeah, that was a pretty good intro, you know, the credits. I like that. I thought this was going to be like a stupid comedy, but maybe it's quite clever. We're already on that, are we? This is the life right here. Boston women are uglier sort than women from the elsewheres of life. They're not that bad. See, the fact that you have to say... I wouldn't know. You ever, you ever hear a Boston girl have an orgasm? Oh, yeah! Ha, that, oh, God, that would... How would he know? That's what I'm thinking about. Is it 9.30? I gotta get to work. I don't know if I can drive. <laughs> oh, such bums. He's actually driving. Thing is, forget the eyes. Surely it's so hard to get the smell out. I wouldn't know. My bad, I was sending a tweet. Sending a tweet. No, sir, I'm sorry, it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? <laughs> That's a stupid answer. What you gotta do is not up. Oh, I realize that. My life could be your life. Amazing. $38,000 a year branch manager who's personal friends with Tom Skerritt. Who? Not gonna let you down, Goose. What? <laughs> Tough gun. Oh. Tom Skerritt. Oh, is that the film? Oh, that's the film he's from. What happened? My phone says I texted someone at 3.15 asking them to beat me up. And then uh, at 4.30 it. You don't remember it? No, same as last time. <laughs> I might be gay, I don't know. Hey, do you mind cut? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who wants to get beat up? Well, I know a few people. Laura and I have been dating four years tomorrow. I want to take her someplace really nice. Congratulations, John. What's she doing it working here? After four years, maybe she's hoping for something more than dinner. Like what? 
I don't know, but if it were me, I'd be expecting a proposal. Well, what do you know about this relationship? That's coming from a very judgmental standpoint. Love enough? I mean, I submit that love is enough. No, they want security. Security a baby or they move on and find it elsewhere. But like, you don't think she's going to be expecting something big, do you? What, like a- <laughs> Is that big? It's the fourth day. I don't think she's, and, and not only that, it's the wrong time. You got the economy. <laughs> He's gonna bring that up when she expects it. That's the economy. Uh... Hey, Laurie. What do you got there? Turkey burgers. Are, are we having homosexuals over for dinner? <laughs> what? Just you homos. Oh. <laughs> uh, to be fair, who eats turkey burgers though? If your leg got trapped under a rock, I'd chew it off to get you free. Is that meant to be sexy? Is that cannibalism? No, I think it's only cannibalism if you swallow. Oh, yeah, no. Don't worry about that, because I don't swallow. Really? Because that's not what I heard. <laughs> Chow Bell is a really expensive restaurant. We can go anywhere else. You liar. Look at it. You don't have to go. And you're nasty. <laughs> you're nasty. <laughs> you're nasty. <laughs> ah! I'm so scared of a little thunder. I am not. I <laughs> oh no! When you hear the sound of thunder, don't you get too scared. You thunder, you can suck my You can't get me thunder because you're just God's fart. You made that when you were eight? How is she put up with that? Patience of a saint. Boyfriend can't sleep through a thunderstorm without his teddy bear. I can keep putting up with him. Yeah, I mean the guy's 30. She can get anyone. Really, it's not about that. I don't care about that. I mean, I'd love him if he was a janitor. I mean, he has a huge heart and... We laugh a lot. It's you or the bear. What if he chose Ted? Oh God, she'll definitely say that. That's me on the high school diving team. Promise me this was about work. Lori, oh. why don't you like me? <laughs> <laughs> if we were together, our babies would be spectacular. No, they wouldn't. But you're coming on way too strong, buddy. You're a bit needy. Oh God, this is a fancy place. I'd feel a little bit too out of place. You wrap just this up for me. I want to scare the shit out of somebody. Sure. Sure. Boston. How long till they say coffee? Special night. We've been dating for four years. She's expecting a ring now. They met at a place like this. Jesus. Oh my god. Are Wait. You, okay? you literally are with the girl you almost knocked out on a dance floor. That's that unspoken riz. That's how I, that's a good move. And next time I go to prison, which is like this really amazing club, everyone knows that, right? I'll, I'll do that one. I have cool moves. Yes, so do people with Parkinson's. This is like that scene from Airplane now. This is the real W Riz right here. <laughs> if there's someone who can do that to me, I'll give you a gold star. Ari, I wanted to give this to you for a long time. Oh, dude, you're literally... What is wrong with him? She thinks it's a... Those are the ones you like, right? From that kiosk at the mall? <laughs> yeah. If you keep wasting time with Ted. Oh, jeez, here we go. I, I was not a popular child. <laughs> He's got some deep issues. Can we talk about this another time and just enjoy our anniversary dinner? No, you can't. This is the perfect time to bring up every issue. Anyone who's had a relationship knows this. Now my phone fell into the seat somewhere. Can you call it? What's the ringtone? Is that my ringtone? Oh, specifically for her. <laughs> oh, Laurie, hey, you're home early. What the hell? Somewhere out there are four terrible fathers I wish I could thank for this great night. <laughs> what is that? A sh on my floor. Well, or, or is the floor on the sh This is not a good day. Someone's about to die. What's going on? Is that a sh <laughs> <laughs> Ted, you gotta move out. Oh no, he's kicking him to the curb. Laurie and I may just need a little space right now. Oh God. Oh, what? No, oh, this is so gross. Don't tell me, I don't want to hear about it. Oh yeah. my God, no, I didn't get it. <laughs> this is nasty. I hate scenes like that. But otherwise, I'm gonna lose her. And we'll hang out all the time, right? All the time. I love you. I think you old... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm not gay. <laughs> you can say you love you too, bros. Come on. I don't want to work at a grocery store. I told you I can totally be a lawyer. <laughs> no, you can't. So you think you got what it takes? Your wife's on my breath. You're hired. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's that easy? I am a former celebrity in a minimum wage job. Oh, but I assure you, I'm quite content. My, my son and I couldn't help but admire your teddy bear. Isn't that the kid who plays young Alan in Hangover? Have you ever considered selling the bear? What? What a stupid question. I want it. But my bear isn't for sale. Stand up straight when you're talking to me. 
Why the f would he say that? <laughs> Give him one of these. Okay. 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 See you later. What creeps? Are they the villains of this film? Like, go away. Oh, my little six. That's my pretty little six. Stop it. Pet. You gotta take it to that place. Don't you guys know it when Mark Wahlberg acts as Mark Wahlberg in every movie? It's my favorite. First night in my beautiful new apartment. It ain't hardly had no murders in it, so that's good. All right. This is sad. Oh, well. No more thunder buddies. Hey there. Hey. She's trapped him now. It's over. It's all part of the new grown-up adult John Bennett, so... I don't have to be at work for another 20 minutes, so... 20? I'm only gonna need one. <laughs> I was gonna say two, but... One? What the hell? Even after four years, it still surprised me. What? With what? One minute? I know I'm not a talking teddy bear, but at least you didn't have to make a magical wish to get me. That's a bit cringe. Thank you very much. Please come again. We have a lot more groceries. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. Who's that over there? Seems cute. Yeah, very cute. You know what I like to do to her? Something I call a dirty fuzzy. A what? Do you even have any equipment? Yeah, look, we're getting a showcase of W Riz, but watch and learn. <laughs> That's not your... You're not the one getting... That's just weird. That's just... Hey, how you holding up? She just wants him. How's your relationship? Any terrible things happening? Through something like this with my last boyfriend. We were together for eight months, and I really loved him. And then he got deported back to Iran, so... I know what you're going through. We both lost our furry little guy. <laughs> Swing by for a bit. I cannot just ditch work, man. Come over. I, I got the Cheers DVD book. He's so bad, though. I saw that unemployed friend on a Tuesday midday. I told my weed guy to step it up, and he gave me that. It's called Mind R It's actually pretty mellow. Doesn't sound very mellow. <laughs> <laughs> That's the scariest weed name ever. For the amount of people that think I'm high, like, every reaction, I haven't done it for a long time. Not like, I haven't done a high reaction. I know, I mean, like, five years. I met a girl. She's a cashier. No way, that's awesome. Yeah. White trash name, guess. Brittany? Nope. Tiffany? Nope. Candace? Nope. Randy, Heather, Channing, Brianna, Amber, Sabrina, Melody, Dakota, Sierra, Bambi, Crystal, Samantha, Autumn, Ruby, Taylor, Tara, Tammy, Lauren, Charlene, Chantel, Courtney, Misty, Gemma, Lou, Becky? Nope. The Lynn after it? Yes. Don't go Brandy, Lynn, Heather, Lynn, Tammy, Tammy Lynn. <laughs> you can open more than one register? There's like a thousand people here. There's a, <laughs> a thousand people. And I sold the parsnip to a family with four small children. Oh, that took guts. I'm promoting you. <laughs> he hasn't got equipment? I guess not. A parsnip's kind of big, though. How big's a parsnip? Oh, no. Don't tell me that that family are coming back. A bear napping. Hey, Ted. Are you out here all alone? Uh, no. No. Can I just get a hug? Oh, uh. That's so weird. Thing is, you know people must have these interactions. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? Me, Ted's girlfriend. What do you mean, got friends? Was it like a lot of them or something? Oh god. No, no that's that's not what she meant. At oh god, this is where I. <clears throat> and snatch him up. Did you just call me a whore? What? You a whore? What the hell oh, happened? We're having a friendly. Yeah. This is not aggressive. Why are you so hostile? Yo, just because you're on the business world and shit, you think what? Everybody should like suck it. Okay, all right. <laughs> look, Tammy, look, come on, honey, let's get out of You better never show your face around Quincy. Okay. <laughs> I remember my first beer. Oh Ow! So sharp, it's like an electric sword. To be fair, that is like the one word, well, one of the words that are just so strong that you're like, I've been bumming around with Ted too much. I know that too. Give me one more chance. I promise I can fix it. John, I need a man. Yeah, to be fair, she is the man in this relationship. It's got a timer. There's a man, Pex. That's man here. That was a man fight. <laughs> Fine. She is one straw away. I wonder who's gonna hit first. These <laughs> numbers do not. <laughs> yeah, she's been putting up with them for way too long. When you're that good looking, come on now. Hey, squirt, how you doing? Where's your bunny rabbit? It's a bear. Got it. It's a bear. Uh, John and I go get a drink at the bar. Come on, buddy. It's an old sweater, huh? <laughs> because people are like this. The ones I've known just aren't that obvious about it. Check this out. It's Lance Armstrong's nut. What? Every now and then, when my life's getting me down and things are tough, and I look at it, and things aren't so bad. What? What do you mean? You know, she told me how you are at the office. But, but look, man, I, I do that with everybody at the office. I have no designs on your girlfriend. 
and we work together, and that's it. Don't fall for that. Well, that's good to hear. Yeah. Sam Jones is here. What? Sam Jones, Flash Gordon is here. Oh, Flash Gordon. But now we're gonna leave him with her. I'm already, I'm already on probation. I just... She would understand, to be fair. If I was with someone and I had my childhood hero, they should understand. Come share this with me. I'm coming. Look, I'll be back in like 30 minutes tops, okay? Laurie cannot find out. She Why are you trusting him? Are you a moron? One man to another? I got you on this. What an idiot. I'm gonna have with your girlfriend. Well, no, you're gonna try, but she wouldn't. <laughs> this is not the equivalent if I've ever met Chris Evans, though. <laughs> it literally is. <laughs> yeah, I would die. Okay, I'll, I'll treat it as that. This is the secret love story of Ted. Let's do some shots. Oh my God. Yes. Oh yes. my God, yes. Totally, yeah. This is worth losing your girl. Death to me. <laughs> yes. <laughs> you like the party? Oh, hell yeah. Don't tell me you've never done it before. Well, no, I haven't. I thought that was just for people in Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Best believe it's riddled in London. About opening a restaurant, we gotta start planning it now. Anybody can come. Of course. Jews are welcome. <laughs> this is like Borat 2. Well, you never should have trusted me. I'm on drugs. True. That's his fault, actually. Let's go get drunk and puke on cars from the overpass. Not sound that much like Peter Griffin. <laughs> I wonder why. What a thin wall. What the hell? You break on my wall, you bastard man. We're sorry, it was an accident, okay? Why have you got a duck? My name of one Ming. Ming? Ming? Is she gonna kill him? <laughs> Am I going to the wrong parties? Because I've never been to one this good. Come on, James Franco. <laughs> James Franco? You called the duck James Franco? I could just feel the headache they're all gonna get in the morning. And he's gotta go back to that party. Hey. Is that Ryan Re Hey, guy. Hey, what's going on? The guy who beat me up. Fair enough. I'd let him beat me up. How is he in this? Hey, Jerry, let's go grab uh, another one of these. He didn't even say anything. Oh, my God. Love him. Uh-oh. Laura. He's playing it wrong. Just explain properly. I need you out of the apartment tonight. What? Oh, come on. That's up. Just Gordon. give me the car keys. I love you. So now we're kicked out of our own place, probably, and our own car's been taken. You should have said, hey, no, we've got Flash Gordon's in here. What are you... Ah, oh, whatever. Oh, no, actually, she's the one with the money. Yeah, what am I talking about? She's the one with the sick job, and he's in some bum job. No, fair enough. It's pretty her car as well. Yo, Laurie was right. I'm never going to have a life with you around. All I do is smoke pot, watch movies with a teddy beer. Don't blame him, though. It's your choice. He was just manufactured this way. I love you. Oh, that's so cute. Of course he's watching Bridget Jones. Just go out with me one time, who just wants a chance to prove that he can be something more than a jerk. Plus you are a huge catch, and it's about time someone treated you that way. I mean, he's true about that part. Fine, sure as hell beats crying myself to sleep every night, and if that means getting you off my back. I'll pick you up at eight. <sighs> so it goes, I'm afraid. And you know, by blaming me, you, you're just making yourself look like a put- Yeah, it's not actually his fault. I wish I'd just gotten a Teddy Ruxpin. This is literally bore right now again. Just don't get naked. <laughs> How is he packing a wallet with those tiny furry hands? Oh my god, that's a fresh bus. Is that actually his bus? I mean, sure, why not? Why are you crying? Where's my DV? You gotta let me help you make things right with you and Laurie. We can get her back. Look. Since the way they're still friends after all that, they almost killed each other. That's how guys hash it out. He is so tall, Jesus. He's not the tallest one there. Hey, play chopsticks, you jazzy slut. Teddy! <laughs> you know, I'm not a hot half Muslim chick. Half Indian, but thanks. Yeah, whatever, thanks for 9 11. Hey, listen. <laughs> <laughs> the best jokes in this are ones you don't expect right at the end of them. Ready to bring down the house? Yes, ma'am. Wait, we're on stage? He's gonna sing a song to a special oh lady in the audience who he loves very much John Bennett! I thought this was just gonna be so cringe. I gotta. Her again. 
Um, this is for Laurie Collins, because I love you. She's actually on a date right now. It's kind of humiliating. All I wanted was a sweet distraction for an hour two. Like, if I just broke up with someone, I'm not singing my heart out while they're on a date with someone else. Still better than Katy Perry. <laughs> Kim Jong-un will kill you for that. You suck! Get on the stage! Oh, come on, give him a chance! You're an <laughs> oh! Someone call an ambulance! Wait, they're taking him off stage for that? That's not fair. You want to get a drink after this? Uh, what do you think? Let me take me home. One drink. Nope, not really feeling up to it. So John and I may have our problems, but at least he tried. Yeah, he embarrassed himself. He didn't really embarrass her. I'm going home. Finally. All right, I told him to bail on you that night at Rex's. Just give him one more chance, and I'll never come back. Until Ted 2, when we want some more money. Echolobe Ultra Tuscan Orange Grapefruit. God, America is imploding. It's a failed society, truly. Oh, now we get burned out. Ted. Well, not many Tony Soprano. All I want is, I just want to end on good terms. Maybe we can still be friends. This is a good strategy. I respect it. That's pretty much it. What a liar. That's pretty much it. You know, I don't want you back or anything. No, I'm fine. <laughs> I don't want you back. Just, we could be friends. Don't worry. She's like, oh my god, he's gonna move on. No, he's gone. Hey, wait, come back. Yeah. Whoa. This is like a Jeffrey Dahmer documentary. I don't actually know if he did any of that stuff. I didn't watch the show. Part of our family for quite some time. That kid's got the most evil smile ever. You think you're just gonna get away with a kidnapping? It's a nice example you said. Language! Sorry, sorry. What? Where do I know this guy from, the actor? And I promised myself that if I ever had a son, I would never say no to him. What? That's just a recipe for the worst son ever. As you can see right here, case closed. I said a bad word one time. Yeah, that's a great what? story. I felt like I was there. <laughs> I have to give you an ouch. An ouch? He didn't rip your ear off. How, how about we play a little game of hide and seek? I love hide and seek. I'll hide. You're not very good at hiding, I've got this gloop. Tubby McFat. <laughs> Some serious hip movement. I mean, this is me when the camera's off. As soon as I finish recording, I'm just. <laughs> Whoa! Maybe not that part. That's someone else's job. Isn't she walking like he's so sorry for himself? Hey. Walking home alone, huh? So she wants him now, he doesn't want her, or says he doesn't. You need to answer. We're literally in a serial killer's home. Help. John, 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 don't hang up. I'm in trouble. Kid who I think is his son, but may also be his lover. I don't know. <laughs> his lover? Hello? Hello, John? Oh! That's a jump scare. Hello, 911? I need the police right away. My teddy bears were stolen. Hello? <laughs> Please, my teddy boy. Back off, Susan Boyle! <laughs> Susan Boyle, that's a good one. I feel like it's quite sad that the new generation won't know who Susan Boyle is. Daddy! <laughs> Get bagged. Jesus. Oh no, he's bleeding. Can he even die? Probably if you cut his head off. <laughs> You're not getting through that, buddy. Oh, Daddy Bear! Please clothesline him. Somebody had to go John Crawford on that kid. He deserved that, but worse. If he was running at me, easy gut punch. Can Ted climb? I mean, we all know bears can actually climb faster than they can run, but I don't know about teddy bears, that falls into that same category. But how was this guy that desperate? He chased him all the way here. Ted! Johnny! You wouldn't! So horrible. But I don't think he can die. You could stitch him up with like some longer legs now. That could be the strategy. Like a giraffe toy. Oh, that's long neck, sorry. Laurie, get the stuff and get it all. You're gonna be okay, buddy. You understand? 
You're gonna be fine. The robot from Aliens. <laughs> That's actually a good one. Your face needs to be covered in white liquid, though. Maybe you gotta make a wish again. Another shooting star. Should he wish for something better, though? If another shooting star is gonna come. He's about to have a villain arc. Look at those eyes. He's gonna kill every teddy in the shops. In reality, she would love that he's dead because he's all to herself now. It's like when you get your man's you know, stop playing games and hang out with you. Ted! I'm alive, Johnny! Oh my god! I'm alive! Your magic always worked! You're back! I you take care of me forever and ever? Uh, not now. No. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. I thought it'd be funny if you thought I was retarded. Welcome back, Ted. You wished for my life back. I wished for my life back. Oh, you're so kind, Mila. You're so kind. Can you marry me? Oh. Where's the ring? All I ever wanted was you jumping in. Happily ever after. How many kisses? Oh my god, Mark Wahlberg was like, let's roll the scene again. Let's roll it again. Should've won AO scene. By the power vested <laughs> in me. His hair is kind of angelic, though. <laughs> they got him. So fake happy for her. Oh yeah, this is every woman at a wedding. Not long afterward, he fell into a deep depression and died of Lou Gehrig's. <laughs> Johnny was arrested by Boston police and charged with kidnapping. Robert got a trainer and went on to become Taylor Lawton. <laughs> <laughs> of course he did. So that does it for Ted, and I was honestly pleased at how funny this film was. I did think it wasn't going to be that funny. One of those kind of vacuous, empty comedies that you see just streaming on Netflix half the time. But I would love to know what you guys thought of this film and if I should watch the sequel, so please do let me know in the comments. And if you did miss a favourite moment or you want to see more, you can find the full-length reaction to this movie on my Patreon in the description. You'll also get early access to future content up to two weeks ahead of the YouTube schedule. So if you guys did enjoy this video at any point, be sure to smash that like button and subscribe for more as it does help me out. So thank you guys all for watching and I will see you on the next one.